We're looking at Genesis chapter 35. I'm reading verse 1. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go out to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fledest from the face of Esau thy brother. And then in verse 2, then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your garments. Verse 3, and let us arise and go up to Bethel and let us arise and go up to Bethel. God said to Jacob, go up to Bethel, and set to there and build an altar there to God. So Jacob told his household, get three of foreign gods you have, and purify yourselves and change your clothes. So let us go to Bethel where I'll build God an altar, for he has been with me wherever I've gone. So let us go back to Bethel one more time. So let us go back to Bethel one more time. Let the light of Jesus in us rise and shine. Give us peace all around. Let us stand on holy ground. Let us go back to Bethel one more time. They buried all their foreign things on the hill of Shechem. They set out and go. Still and Jacob and the people then reached Bethel in Canaan. But there he built an altar where God appeared to him and said, Your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob. Your name will be Israel. I give this land to you, I gave to Abraham and Isaac. To all your descendants after you. So let us go back to the girl.
first experience the presence the power the calling of the Lord upon his life and now God called him our God is a patient God when he had given a promise when he had showed up in a mighty presence and Jacob and us I've been dragging our feet. You would have thought, okay, if she came is where you want to settle, and we've been on that now for a few years, all right, settle down there. I mean, faithful God, anyhow, I'll bless you. God doesn't change His program, His plan. By the misinterpretation or the self will of any man, any woman. So God now came to Jacob and said, Jacob, I'm still for Bethel. I am where I was when you met me, and my covenant and my word and my requirement remains the same arise go up where you are is low is down is in a valley in the measure of heaven in the sight of god you are down you are not up arise go up to bethel and i will make an altar he now said because the lord said make an altar unto me the lord was calling jacob and the lord is calling you and i
But still I hear you calling me Those simple things that I once knew The memories are drawing me I must confess, Lord, I've been blessed But yet my soul's not satisfied Renew my faith, restore my joy And dry my weeping eyes Take me back, Take me back to, the to the place where place. I started To where I started With the chain And let me go free Let me go free I just can't ah. stay Take me, back Take me back to the place, to the place where I started. To where I started. Break the chains, Lord. Let me go free. Let me go free. I just can't ah. stay any longer. Take me back, Lord, to Calvary. Take me back.
was calling Jacob and the Lord is calling you and I one go up two grow up three give up there are things that have come into our lives from Padan Aram all through the way with our relationships with Laban and then in shaking there are things that have come in into our personal lives into our families into our fellowship into the calling of God mixing up with what we have God give up you go up you grow up you give up what are those things in Jacob's life in Jacob's family he didn't even know all of them that he needed to give up but he took the first step he arose and he told this family we are going up to Bethel and then he said put away give up the strange gods and then they responded properly and they gave up the strange gods and other things in their lives that they didn't know those things did not disturb them while they were at shaking but when you're moving up and you're going to Bethel from Shechem there are things that may be allowed and permitted at Shechem that will not get to Bethel and so they gave those things up and God saw that and as they moved on the presence of the Lord the power of the Lord the protection of the Lord was with them and none of those people around confronted will age or did anything evil against Jacob and his family.
you have a place that the Lord has ordained and your journey your journey you make sure that every day every day contributes a little progress to that journey you see the people that they walk for a week then they sit down then they move on another week and they sit down they lose momentum they lose fire they lose fervency. They lose the support of heaven while you're sitting down. But you let every day contribute to the journey onward. What am I doing today to contribute to the goal? Contribute to the vision? Contribute to my onward journey? The Lord will strengthen you. And when others are sitting down or sitting back, you'll keep on moving. 
and talk it to somebody there you will move up you will climb up and the journey and the terror of God was upon the cities that were around about them God will be back of you he'll protect your back he'll protect your front he'll protect your sides and no evil will come against your life every mountain the Lord has ordained your climb you will climb every place of power promotion authority progress the Lord has ordained you will be where are you you'll be there in Jesus name the Lord will preserve your life protect your life promote your life what you appear to have lost all those 30 years as you come back today the Lord will speed up your progress your loss will become gain progress promotion power provision prosperity in your life in my life the Lord confirm it for you in Jesus name look at Isaiah chapter 43 we're reading from verse 12 I say for today verse 12 I have declared I have saved I have showed when there was no strange God among you God is looking for that he's looking at that when there was no strange God among you therefore ye are my witnesses says the Lord that I am God I didn't hear your amen look at verse 13 yeah before the day was I am he and there is none that can deliver out of my hand I will work in your life I will work in your academics by the way this uh, youth impact that we're going to have on the 30th of July if I told you young people where are you young people I see you there. I see you there. If I told you what I, I'm just discovering, how to change your grade, how to change your achievement, how to change your progress, just discovering. I've been talking to youths, I've been ministering to youths for so many years. And then for me to hit the jackpot of something I give you and then you fly to the top you'll be there you'll be there is um, publicity we're making next Saturday any youth you know get hold of them link up with them and then all over Lagos stage the people that felt they are never doing well they cannot do well tell them let all journey move to Ikorudu spot and then that day a never to be forgotten day I've lost the amen And the million match, you know, when I had that million, million, I said, Lagos Church, do we understand one million? I do want to raise the one million. And I began to make the strategy. I don't want to debate from my message, but you know, if I were to come out with you next Sunday, million men match, women match. 
something is going to happen and if you've never seen a million men million women march come out next sunday will surprise lagos state the place god will take you to god is saying i will walk and you shall let it this work god is going to do in your life by preparation by provision that he has prophesied nothing on earth nothing from hell nothing anywhere from anywhere will hinder the progress of your life in jesus name progress ahead progress ahead without stranger gods well let's come to point number three now point number three great confirmation of believers better blessing confirmation is somebody's life there i said confirmation is somebody's life over there a confirmation in your life in jesus name we're coming to genesis chapter 35 look at verse 6 so jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of canaan that is bethel jacob came to bethel he started the journey he journeyed there was no hindrance there's no predicament there was no enemy nobody could stop him and he came to bethel the journey you are starting today nobody will stop you nobody will hinder you there'll be a confirmation of arrival in jesus name so jacob came to loss which is in the land of canaan that is bethel he and all the people that were with him are there any people with me here he and all the people that were with him anybody with me okay i've told you before i'll tell you again i am on the journey and i am going to get to that destination and all the people that are with me will, will get there today you will get there success you will get there mountain top you will get there Bethel, you will get there heaven 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 you will get there